This genetic engineering kit is going to teach me how to add jellyfish DNA to yeast in order to turn the yeast fluorescent. It's one of the fantastic biohacking kits from the Odin, which gives people the tools to do all kinds of awesome science experiments at home. We're using a process called transformation. It's where you genetically alter a cell by introducing new DNA through the cell walls. Now, onto the fun stuff. First, we make our agar plates. This is the food that the yeast will grow on, and it's kind of like jello. We have two different types of agar here, one for growing our yeast and the other for growing our genetically engineered yeast. You heat the mixture to dissolve it. You have to heat it carefully because it froths up quickly and goes everywhere. Let it cool for about 30 minutes, but don't leave it too long or it will go clumpy. Our agar plates have been sitting in the fridge overnight. Damn it! We are going to put this yeast on the agar plates. It smells kind of like burnt microwave. It looks like it has successfully grown. We were told to look for little white spots and uh, we've got a bunch of them here. It smells really awful. <laughs> Ugh. So we're going to take our newly grown yeast and we're going to mix it with this transformation mix that weakens the cell's wall so that new information can be injected. To start off with gloves. I'm going to take about two loopfuls of yeast and add it to my transformation mix. I can also use the pipette to pipette it back and forth. Is pipette a verb? All right. This should be competent cell mixture. I'm gonna add the DNA to my competent cell mixture. Pop these tubes in for an hour. We've finished incubating these. Now I'm gonna add 900 microliters of my YPD mixture into my competent cell mixture with the DNA added. Fills the exact amount in there. Press it all the way and it gets rid of it all. I've lost count. We have these five micro centrifuge tubes that now have the YPD mixture mixed with the competent cell mixture with the DNA. I'm gonna take my transformation mix and pour it on top of the agar plate. Whoa, fermenting sound. We'll leave these for about two to four days at room temperature until we start seeing little white dots. It's been a couple of days and we have these white dots growing. I'm gonna go into the closet with my blue light and this yellow lens and we'll see if we've had a successful experiment. It's pretty hard to tell. I'm not sure whether that's just the normal glow I would have seen with the light bouncing off any other surface. Oh, that looks pretty good there. So half of my experiment, it looks like it didn't work. But these two that I redid, looks like they did. This experiment has been a heap of fun. I love this stuff and I love what the Odin is doing by promoting biohacking and promoting experimentation with science. That's a great ethos I can get behind and I'm very much looking forward to the next kit from them that I try out. A more detailed version of this experiment is available on the NBTV members page. Any purchase from the NBTV store with things like hollow caps and mugs gives you access to the NBTV members page for the next year and all goes towards helping me keep this channel going. Thank you so much for watching.